nice to finally be back off my maternity leave. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again, obviously, as soon as it's safe to do so. Um, in the meantime, stay safe, stay positive, and keep smiling. See you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. Hope we are okay and staying safe. Uh, Mental Health Awareness Week this week. I'm uh, getting out doing a little bit of exercise. Do not let Mr. Gregory at nearly 40 be smashing you lot on the bleat test whenever we can get back to doing the bleat test to the baseline. Don't let me beat you. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all and also looking at this video, looking forward to getting my barnet cut. Peace and love. Stay safe. Hello Virtual. I hope you're all well and keeping safe. I just wanted to say thank you to all the students who've been keeping in touch online. It's been really nice to uh, speak to people. I really want to say thank you though to all the staff who've been posting all the video messages which have been really positive and inspiring. What's inspired me? Well Mrs Daniels and Mrs Hudson have been telling me to read more so I've, I've been reading this. And as you can see, I'm now trying to put it into practice. Hope you all stay safe, definitely stay connected, and looking forward to seeing you all soon. Hi Adios. everybody, I hope you're all okay, looking after yourself and each other. Can't wait to see you all as soon as we can, really missing you. Take care, bye. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, Mrs Cock here, and Edith, you say hello? No, she's just going to stare um, gormlessly. Anyway, it is Mental Health Week, so I was just checking in to see that you're all okay. Um, I was in school yesterday and it is a eerily different place without you all. It is very quiet and very boring. Um, so I can't wait until we're all back there and I get to see you again. Um, meanwhile, take care of yourselves, stay safe, be happy get outside enjoy that sun that we are so blessed with at the moment get your vitamin d and as i said just enjoy it as much as you can okay have a nice relaxation chill out over the next week it is half term so there shouldn't be much work set for you on edge link um take care of yourselves take care of everyone in the family and i'll see you soon Bye. hey guys I don't think you understand how hard difficult this is to do without an RCQ. All I want to say is stay safe, have a bit of fun, go and do a run, go on a bike ride, read your favourite book, have your favourite food, I'm just about to have chocolate cake. But more importantly, if someone asks you to go and meet them somewhere, just say, sorry, I have plans at home. Stay safe. Hi everyone, just a message to everyone in the Betshaw community. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all safe. Looking after yourselves, it is Mental Health Awareness Week this week, so uh, make sure you are getting the right balance between uh, doing some work and some downtime and some exercise and make sure your diet's good, you're looking after yourself. We hope to see you back all at school soon, um, but obviously when that's safe and appropriate for us all to do so. See you later. Hi all, I hope you're safe and well. Just a quick message to say make sure you're looking after yourselves and your family and doing things that you enjoy as well as working. Hopefully we'll see you all soon. Take care. Hi everyone. It's Mental Health Week, so it's a perfect opportunity for me as your school counsellor to check in with you all. I hope you're all doing okay during lockdown and looking after yourselves and your families and staying safe. Um, I'm certainly missing seeing you all in school. Um, I'm sure you're going through lots of different emotions during this time, some good, some bad. Um, so I just want to tell you that that's okay. That's absolutely okay. You just go with them emotions and those feelings and they will pass eventually. Um, I'm here at the end of an email if ever you want to talk to me. Um, so in the meantime, just look after yourselves. Keep doing nice positive things every day. Try and maybe think of three positive things that you've done that day or three positive things just about your life. Um, and maybe write them down and then when you're feeling a bit rubbish you can look back up the nice things that you've got going on as well and the things to look forward to. Anyway, take care and I hope to see you all very very soon. Bye bye. To all our virtual students, I hope you're doing okay in these difficult circumstances and I know as time's going on we're finding things more and more difficult 
So maybe give a thought to trying something a little bit different. Mrs Hudson's inspired me to have a little go at baking. Mrs Knight's encouraged me to get out in the garden. But what works for me is my daily walks. It really helps. So have a little think. Anyway, finally, in the words of Mr Moss, stay safe and look after those who look after you. Hello, all at virtual. Just a quick message to say that I'm missing you. Uh, we can see some light at the end of the tunnel, so hoping that at some point we might get to see some of you. Um, otherwise, just keep on working hard, stay safe and uh, make sure you're kind to everyone. Remember, Hi guys, hope you're all safe and keeping well. Just wanted to send a quick hello and obviously a special shout out to 7R1 and to my fantastic business studies people at Birchall. 7R1, keep these messages coming. I'm absolutely loving the emails, the photos about our stick insects, our chicks, our fantastic pictures and just generally all the stuff that you've been getting up to at home. Hopefully see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. Um, missing you all lots, especially my year 10s. Um, just wanted to say with Mental Health Awareness Week this week, I want you to be really looking after yourselves all the time, not just this week. It's really important to keep busy, stay active and keep in touch with us. We want to help you. Take care. Bye for now. Hello everyone. Um, I hope you're keeping well and safe. Uh, I'm well and fit and can't wait to come back and teaching you all, uh, hopefully very soon. Um, one of the ways that's helped me to get through this 12 months rather than just this last period of time is to plan little things to look forward to. So it might be difficult now, but even if it's something simple like your mum's cooking your favourite curry on Friday night or it's family film night at the weekend or you get to FaceTime your mate tomorrow, just plan little things that it's good to look forward to. Stay safe, take care, look after those that are looking after you. See you very soon. Hi everybody, I hope you're okay. I'm missing you loads and I'm thinking away about you all and I hope you're all having some nice time with your family and finding time to do things that you wouldn't normally have time to do. Perfecting your cooking, perfecting your baking, getting all your talents all sorted. Um, and just reach out to those people who you think might be a little bit lonely at the moment. It's Mental Health Awareness Week and just take some time out for you, do some things you enjoy, take plenty of exercise. I know I'm actually trying to get all my exercise in too, so make sure you're having a wee bit of time out and get the balance right. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all Hi soon. everyone, it's Mental Take Health care. Awareness Week, so I thought I'd send you a quick message just to say I hope you're staying safe, that you're getting outdoors, that you're being active, um, you're staying positive and you're looking after those around you. Uh, I really do miss you all, I'm looking forward to seeing you um, when a little bit of normality resumes. Keep smiling everyone, and Lola has a message for you all too. Teenagers dead. Hi everyone, it's Mrs Barton here. Just wanted to send you all a quick message and hope that you're all keeping safe and well. As you can see, I'm in the quad, which is normally our break time at 11 o'clock. And it's so quiet without you noisy lot. We hope to have you back soon. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Take care. Lots of love. Hello everyone. I hope you're all okay and looking after yourselves. I know a lot of you are working incredibly hard. I've had some fantastic work sent in from the students in my classes. But as it's health, uh, Mental Health Awareness Week this week, I just wanted to remind you to take some time for you as well. Baking, reading, drawing, exercising. Just make sure you're taking some time to relax. I'm just about to go for my walk to get some fresh air and a bit of exercise. So I'll say goodbye for now, but hopefully I'll see Hi you again Hi everyone at Virtual from me and from Coco who refuses to awake from her slumber for her starring moment because she's that much of a princess. Um, I hope that you're all doing okay. It's been a really, really difficult time. Um, I know that you've not been perhaps seeing your friends, your family, and that can be really, really challenging. Make sure that you try and stay in touch with everybody, um, whether that's via telephone, FaceTime, texting, emailing. Um, thank you for those of you that have been keeping in touch with your teachers your form teachers letting us know how you're doing that's really really important if you can keep doing that just so that we know how you're getting on and um, that we know you're well and that we can have a talk to you as well um, make sure that you continue doing the competitions it's been great seeing the photos from the geography competition it was great with the PE competition getting out and walking um, and also Miss Rowland who's put in the recipe book together it's been great seeing all those things happening during this difficult time so if you can stay in touch with us let us know how you're getting on healthy body healthy mind as you can see from behind me I have been 
going to the garden centre now they are open to go and invest in lots and lots of plants because I enjoy having lots of plants in my house and it makes me feel happy. Do what makes you feel happy, make sure you look after yourselves and hopefully we'll see you soon. Hi everyone, Bye. I just wanted to um, stay in touch with you and, and say hello and just make sure that everyone's okay. Um, things to do in this time, maybe going, walking the dog, um, getting out and about and, and enjoying the fresh air whilst you can is a, a really good way to relax and, and release some of the anxiety and stress that you're dealing with every day whilst you're homeschooling. I found this dog, not sure whose it is, but anyway, it's been a nice walk. Hey, that's my dog! Bonjour everyone! It's Mental Health Week this week, um, and I'm sure you all know that it's more important than ever to be looking after yourselves in these really difficult times. Make sure that you're doing something different every day, go for a walk, go for a ride. Um, you can have a little drive somewhere now with, with parents or somebody in your household, so go and do that and go and do something a little bit different. Um, a random act of kindness can go a long way, so maybe pick up the phone and give somebody a call that you've not spoke to for a while. Um, anyway, that's it from me, so a bientôt, stay safe, see you soon. Hello everyone, just a little message from me to say that I hope you're all keeping well during these strange times that we're in. Um, it's Mental Health Awareness Week, isn't it? So. A little tip is that if you have a day where you're not as productive or you don't feel as motivated as you'd like to be, to not beat yourself up about it. The most important thing is that you stay positive, stay active and you keep on going as best you can. Um, hopefully we'll have some normality back soon. It'd be lovely to see you all back in school. Um, I personally cannot wait for the barbers to reopen to get this absolute mess sorted out. Um, so missing you all, stay strong, stay active and hope to see you very soon. Hello everybody, my name's Millie. I'm really fed up on my human. He's dead miserable. He said he's missing the students at Birchall High School and he's missing the teachers and all the support staff as well. He's really annoyed because it's roasting a Wednesday and he was going to bring me on some beef. Anyway, He's being very kind to me. He's taking me in the garden to play and he's giving me lots of treats. Be kind to yourselves if you can. And try and be kind to other people in your family. Apparently, it's mental hair this week. Anyway, bye. I'm off to chase the birds in the garden. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hope you're well and staying safe. As you're aware, it's Mental Health Awareness Week this week and what better than to read a book. It's been proven that reading a book helps you to de-stress, lowers your blood pressure and lowers your heart rate. So why not join me? I've told my children that we can play hide and seek and who can be the quietest for the longest just to get half an hour peace and quiet. So while the sun is shining, why don't you join me and go and grab a book. Hope you have a lovely day. See you later. Shh, they'll find me. Bye. Morning everyone. Quick one because I'm out of breath in the middle of a bike ride. Uh, just a quick message just to say um, try and keep healthy if you can during mental health week get out at least once a day if you can maybe put a playlist on and go for a walk or go for a jog or a bike ride whatever it is and maybe switch your phone off um, so you've got no distractions you can just chill out for for an hour or so anyhow stay safe Nice scenery this morning. Right, uh, good morning, good people of Birchall. I hope you're all okay in these trying times. Listen, I'm not here to tell you to uh, try to make sure you're looking after yourself, because I know you'll be doing that anyway. And I'm not here to say, look after your families, because I know you'll definitely be doing that. And I'm definitely not here to say, make sure you do loads and loads and loads of schoolwork, because I know you'll be trying your best. What I am here to say in Mental Health Awareness Week, in the words of Henry James, there are three important qualities in human life. Number one is be kind. Number two is be kind. And number three is be kind. Hope to see you in school soon, guys. Peace and love. Mr. Hello, Scott. my virtual family. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, and I'm going to start with an apology. I'm going to use a word I absolutely hate. There's no true definition, but everyone thinks they know what it means. Um, and anyone who knows me knows it does not apply to me or anything I do. Um, actually, let's see if you know what the word is. If you can figure out what the word is, you can tweet us back. Okay, we're so many weeks in now. And did you know it's perfectly normal to walk into a room full of people and feel like a stranger and that you don't belong, even if that room full of people is your family? Did you know it's perfectly normal to feel absolutely nothing 
or to feel so overwhelmed that you can't breathe? Did you know it's perfectly normal to find ways to distract yourself from these feelings or even to try and amplify them? Um, what is important, what is so important is how you distract yourself. Um, you have to be honest about the things you do to distract yourself. Are they going to cause you more long-term damage to your mental and physical health than actually the, the relief they're going to give you in the short term? Because those distractions are going to perform habits and they're the hardest behaviour to change. So the key is keep talking. Any general tra chat about anything will build confidence. But if you need specific advice, please um, talk to people who know. Talk to registered charities. Do not get stuck down rabbit holes on the internet. Do not join chat rooms. Um, and don't forget your teachers are quite happy to signpost you to any help that you need. Lastly, it's perfectly normal to think, do you know what, I'm actually really happy with my lot <laughs> and today is a good day. So go make your parents a cup of tea, keep chatting to your friends and remember there is no normal. We're just stuck in a world full of weirdness that we've just got to navigate, our, navigate yourself around and the tools you choose to use as a map is what's going to make your journey successful. And that must mean that Mackey's is open because that was so full of cheese. Anyway, stay safe and I'll keep see you all soon. Bye. And I can't switch off to internet. I don't know how you do it. Hi, a little shout out from me. Um, just to say I hope you are keeping safe and well in these strange times. I've been on my own now shielding for nine weeks. So that means I've not been able to go out for a walk or see any of my friends or family. It's been really mentally challenging. But what I've tried to do is find something positive in each day. I have some good days and some bad days, I'm sure the same as all you do, but I can't wait to see you soon and be back in school doing things like we normally do. Take care, lots of love, bye. Hi guys, I hope you are all keeping yourself safe and well. Mental Health Awareness Week and just wanted to say something I find really useful is just make sure you don't stay cooped up inside. You've got lovely weather coming up this week, make sure you spend some time outside get that vitamin d whether it's in the garden with family whether it's taking your dog on a walk going on a bike ride but it just gives your mood that little bit of an extra boosting you always feel better once you've been outside in the sun in the fresh air look after yourselves and i'll see you all just soon. a quick message from me mrs sutton say hello missing you all um both all the students i teach and all the students that come down to t8 and sen area um, so I thought I'd share how I spend my days trying to relax with Mental Health Week. So every morning I do go out for a walk with my dog. There she is somewhere. Luna, you can say hi? Hi! Uh, we go out for a walk in the woods in the park every single day, morning and night, and I find it really relaxing. Um, just looking around, as you can see it's really pretty. Um, makes me think about happy things, feeling the breeze on my face and the warm, the warm air coming through, the sunshine, um, just listening to all the birds and seeing all the flowers. It's it's really nice and it's really relaxing. Anyway, Hi take everyone. care. As you've probably guessed, it's Mental Health Week in the UK. Um, I hope that everyone's doing well and that you're all managing just fine. Um, it's more important now than ever with it being so lonely, just to check in on the people that matter the most to you, whether that's a text message, whether that's um, sending them a letter in the post just to say hi um, and to check in with them, playing a game online with your friends on Xbox or PlayStation or whichever platform you play, um, just to check in with those people and say hi. Um, one text message just to those people that you're really, really close to, just to say hi, I haven't forgotten about you, I hope you're okay, might even just make that difference and might make them smile, make their day. Um, I hope that I'm back in school soon and I hope to see you all once this is all over and everything's safe. Take care of yourselves. Hello, Bye, guys. Everybody. I hope you're all safe and well. I know that some of us in these strange times may be struggling a little bit. Remember, like Mrs Gill said yesterday, it's okay not to be okay. I think one of the most important things that we can do in these times is to keep connecting with each other. I remember Mrs Wilkinson said to me just as we were about to um, close down school in March, even though we have to be physically distant from each other, it's important that we're not emotionally distant from each other. And I know that one of the things that's really got me through these difficult times are those connections with my family and friends. I've really enjoyed the time that I've had to catch up with various friends on house party or FaceTime and look forward to the time that we can do that in person. 
but for now those connections with those friends like Mrs Daniel and Mrs Knight have really made me smile and kept me going. So everybody make sure that you keep up those connections with the people who matter to you. Take lots of care, stay safe and hope to see you all very very soon. Hi everyone, hope you're all okay in these really strange times. Hope you're managing to keep yourself busy. I'm missing your loads in the classroom. Um, don't forget how much a little bit goes a long way, especially now. Making someone a cup of tea, doing the dishes, doing a bit of hoovering, or just smiling and saying hello to someone when you're out and about on your walk or bike ride. Try and get out for an hour a day if you can, or as much as you can, just to top up your vitamin D. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, hope you're all doing okay. Um, it's Mental Health Awareness Week, something that's very close to my heart and I know I speak to a lot of the children around mental health and share my stories with them. Um, hope you're all staying safe and that you're all being kind to each other. Um, remember it's really important that you talk to people and that if you are having a problem you do share that with someone and get some advice. I know I very often will text Mrs Gill and just say I'm having a bad day, help. And she will text me and remind me that it's one step at a time and one day at a time. So be kind to yourselves, do something that helps you feel good. Stay safe and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Hi everyone. Miss you all. I hope you're all looking after yourselves and feeling safe and staying strong. With it being Mental Health Awareness Week, it's very important that we are looking after ourselves. You know, you've got to look after your mind and your body together. Get some rest, eat well, get some exercise, things like that, and keeping your mind active. You won't be the only person who thinks this is a very strange set of circumstances that we're in. So check in on your friends. They're only a text away or a video call away. And look around the house as well for things that you can do to help out. You know, maybe just little jobs around the house or spending more time with, you know, brothers and sisters, things like that, if, if that's something that'll help, you know. I've been uh, reading my daughter The Snail and the Whale this morning and in the last week or two I've been baking as well so maybe do something creative. You know, look after yourselves. I'm sure we'll all meet up again soon. Hi everyone, just a little quick message for you to say uh, we're thinking of you this week. I know it's been a long time since we've seen you, we miss you all. I know it's difficult to keep going and stay motivated but keep doing all the wonderful things that you enjoy. I've really enjoyed seeing the pictures of the baking and the long walks, a few bike rides in there, all the things that um, keep you positive. Just keep those going and hopefully it won't be too long till we see you. Take care. We miss you all. Bye. Good morning, everyone from very quiet and windy Birchwell High School. I thought I'd bring you up to the sports hall this morning to remind everyone that we are one community, a community that I'm extremely proud of. The way that we've overcome the challenges over recent times have been absolutely fantastic, both for staff and you at home. I'm also very proud of our growing online community. It's been fantastic to see what you've been getting up to and the work that you've been producing whilst at home. Please keep that information coming in. Particularly this week, we've been able to share with you some additional tips and guidance one about the importance of getting out, maybe enjoying your gardens or going further afield if it's safe to do so. One about staying connected, staying connected with your family, your friends, your teachers, your form tutors at school. And if you haven't already done so, maybe give somebody a ring from your form or one of your classmates. Tell them that you still care. About staying active, the importance of exercise, about keep learning. It's been great to hear some of the skills and things that you're getting up to whilst being at home. But above all, I'd encourage you to stay positive. Never underestimate the power of a smile. You do make the weather. Please take care, stay safe and keep in touch. Good morning guys, it's Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, I'm out on the morning run with the dog. He's now running around like a madhead. Um, a couple of tips from me. I think mental health is a really important thing to talk about. I've been lucky enough that I've never suffered with any mental health issues, but lots of my family have. Don't consider myself mentally strong necessarily because of that, but more I've just been really fortunate in that area. 
Um, a couple of things I think are really important to try and take on board during this time is little things. So for me, this my routine's been really important through this time, making sure that I'm getting up in the morning and I'm getting stuff done that I need to do and keeping the normality there. I know my wife is a big fan of goal setting, making sure she's got targets, what she wants to do during the day and how much she wants to achieve. And I know that really, really helps her as well. So there's a couple of little bits there. Just remember it's fine if you are feeling bad, you had a bad day, I think it's really important not to beat yourself up about it. Um, but just crack on and, and accept your limitations someday and the days you do feel good, make the most of them too. Um, but stay positive, stay safe. Hi everybody at Hi. Virtual, this is just a little message to say that I miss you all lots and I hope you're all well and for Mental Health Week I want to uh, remind you all to read um, because not only is it brilliant for your brain but it's also brilliant for helping you to feel happy and relaxed and really good for your mental health. Um, Take care of yourselves and your families, and I hope that we get to see you all very soon. Goodbye.